And I think it's fair to say never have we had a more open competition looking ahead to this clash of the Giants. England and the US are the favourites to go all the way and win the World Cup. As we welcome in Alexis Nunes, and in honour of International Women's Day, we've relieved Shaka Hislop of his power ranking duties, Alexis, and given you the task to give us your International Women's Power Rankings looking ahead to the World Cup. Yeah, Dan, it's an absolute honor. I know Shaka is hard to take over from, but honestly, I it's my time now. It's my time now. But in at number five, <laughs> I know this is a shock. But oh, this is bias, Alexis. Come on, Dan, this is the second time we have qualified for the World Cup, something that the men have yet to do, believe it or not, and it truly is against all odds. They're still being funded by the Bob Marley Foundation, which is headed by Bob Marley's daughter, Sadella Marley. I mean, and now we've got, I think, a more experienced team. I know we are in the toughest group with France and Brazil there, but honestly, we have a striker by the name of Khadija Bunny Shaw. She's been tearing it up so far in the WSL, so I'm putting Jamaica there at number five. Number four, Definitely Spain, because let's be honest, when they tick and they play that beautiful football, I mean, the world should be their oyster. The thing that was missing, I think, from them last year when we watched them in the Euros was just a proven goal scorer. We know that they had to do it without Alexia Puteas. We will see what kind of Alexia Puteas we do get if we do even get her at the World Cup this summer. But let's be honest, she is 100% that girl. She's the Messi or the Ronaldo of the women's game. How many times has she won the Ballon d'Or? Any team with her is definitely a contender. Number three, though, I put Germany because we hear this time and time again, well-oiled machine, and that's exactly what the German women are. They went through a, a tough time preparing for the Euros last year, and yet they still managed to make it to the final. And I think that that final loss really did hurt them. I think they're going to be coming back for a vengeance to go deep into this tournament. And they've just got some unbelievable players like Lena Magul and Lena Oberdorf as well, who has absolutely been probably the most promising talent I think I have seen. She's already acting like a captain and she's still so young so germany come on we can never count out the germans can we in any world cup and in at number two shock i know this Whoa. might shock some people i've gone for the u.s women's national team at number two yes they're the defending champions yes they're the usa yes we know all the star power that they have but i really think the one team that has st stolen some of their thunder i suppose in the last couple of months has to be my team at number one, and it is the Lionesses of England, because yes. I did see these two face off in October here at Wembley. And I remember saying to myself, after covering the Lionesses and knowing that they won the Euros, I say, now comes a real challenge. They're up against the USA. They are the standard that you measure yourself against. And they passed with flying colors. I think it actually shocks a lot of people how not easy the usa of course made it difficult but how they dealt with them you know in such a good way and this lionesses team is just from top to bottom immaculate i have to say you know they've dealt with a number of big name retirements like jill scott and ellen white who's their all-time leading goal scorer and nobody's really been that worried because the conveyor belt that we saw coming up with the likes of alessia russo who is just an absolute proven goal scorer and she brings that flair almost that Cristiano Ronaldo-like flair. Everyone is so confident in them. And they also have the queen, Serena Vigman, up there. I mean, she knows what to do to win. She has won the Euros twice, you know, with her home country, the Netherlands, and then with the Lionesses. And now she's going to march them into the World Cup. I think she definitely, as well, is their secret weapon. So that's my power rankings. I'm going with the Lionesses as the team to beat this summer in New Zealand and Australia. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.